Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today what we're gonna do is get rid of this chrome grill and replace it with a Raptor U-Pull bed liner. About a month ago on my social media, I put a poll and I was asking, should we leave this chrome or should we go black? And majority of you guys voted black, so we're gonna change that today. If you haven't been following me on social media, go ahead and follow me right here at Life of Ponce. I'm pretty excited. I've actually have done this before. Long story short, when I got in a wreck hitting a deer, <laughs> That bed liner, the, the brand Raptor you pull, that specific bed liner would not come off. I'm gonna use the same product. I have experience with it. It's real easy to lay on, even though last time I kind of messed up because I oversprayed it, but I have better experience. That's not gonna happen. So I will show you guys the step-by-step -step process of what I do to paint my grill. Hopefully they'll come out looking shiny. If only I had real grills, that would have been better. All right, so first things first is we're going to remove the, the emblem right here. I'm gonna coat it with this oven cleaner. Now this stuff is pretty, pretty corrosive. I don't think this is gonna take off the chrome, but honestly, I think what it's gonna do is it's gonna soften it up so that when I do come time to try to scrape off this chrome, then it should be a lot easier for me to scrape it off. This chrome is obviously not real chrome. It's actually like, I always think of it as like a sticker. It has like this film, it's a film reflective sticker, basically. So I highly doubt this stuff's gonna actually take off the chrome. At least it will hopefully soften it up to make it a little bit easier when it's scraping. At least that's what I'm planning on it for it to do. Unfortunately, I can't take out this insert. You can, but you would have to put some adhesive back onto it. So I'm trying to refrain from doing all that. We're gonna prep the chrome, get it ready for paint, and before I do any of that, I'm gonna hit it with this can. So as you can see right here, we got some bubbling going on. Over some time, this is gonna spread and then eventually it'll get all over the place, but now I don't feel as too bad ruining this fake chrome. <laughs> The next day. All right, today is the next day. First thing I want to do is take off the front bumper. I didn't have a chance of doing it yesterday because it started raining. We're gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so there ended up having to be 10 of those 15 millimeter bolts, not 14, I thought there were 14, but 15 millimeter bolts. There are four of them are right here. And then you have one of them right here. And then same with the other side, there's four on this side and then one of them right here going to the bumper end cap. Okay, so we remove the rest of the front bumper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tackle this and try to remove this chrome off the grill. I don't know what to expect. I'm going to assume it's gonna stay on there. It hasn't been uh, lifting off or anything, but I'm just hoping, like I said before, that it will hopefully be loose enough so that when I do scrape it, it'll be easy. So right now I'm gonna see what I have to work with basically. So, um, it looks like 
this oven cleaner it isn't really doing much but making a huge mess. This is gonna take forever. It's gonna be a change of plans. Now, hear me out. Most people that replace or respray their grill is because it's been peeling. Usually, the grill's been on the car since day one. It's never been replaced at all. In most cases, the chrome is easier to remove uh, than the film is. Now, this grill has been replaced recently, probably last year or so. I noticed that on this grill, it is extremely way harder to remove the chrome using a razor blade. So I'm gonna go a different approach uh, this time around. What I'm gonna end up doing is sanding the surface and basically gonna be painting over the chrome. Now, I have never done this before, and I am, by all means, I'm not a professional painter at all. <laughs> so, this is all gonna be new to me. I'm going to try to do my best so that it lasts in the future, uh, probably for the rest of its lifetime. That, at least that's the plan. I got some water. It's not really a Windex, it's just water. I am gonna be wet sanding this. We're gonna first start with the 180 grit uh, scuffing sponge, and then we'll move over to the actual scuffing pad. Now for those hard to reach uh, places right here on the side, I just have 180 grit sandpaper. Okay, so now that we've sanded it and scuffed it, our next step is to use wax and grease remover. Make sure this is all thoroughly clean and there's no debris left whatsoever. Okay, so I just got done prepping this grill. I'll probably have to go over one more time with wax and grease remover. Now we're just gonna focus on prepping the rest of this front bumper. You know, I, I was deciding whether if I should paint this part or just leave it just the black. And I think it might look a little bit weird if I just leave it like that. So I think what I'm gonna do, paint the metal bumper, this plastic, and then this has already have been painted. You pull bed liner. I'll probably respray it, do minimal prep on this, just scuff it up, respray it. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove the bumper end caps, uh, get that out of the way, basically disassemble this whole thing. So let's do that right now. I think I gotta remove the caps first, the uh, fog light caps or bumper end caps, whatever you wanna call them. No, actually, I think I gotta remove the lip then the bumper end caps, and then the center section. I don't know, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna figure it out together. How about that? <laughs>
Okay, as you can tell, all the pieces are prepped and ready to go. The next thing I'm gonna do is mask off everything I don't want painted, and then we can start spraying.